prior to use JS, we must install it. And to install it, we'll need the Node.js. So if you don't have it on your machine yet, download and install the LTS version. I'll also be using the Visual Studio Code for this course. It's not mandatory, but I recommend you to download and install it so we stay on the same page. I already have Node.js installed on my machine, so I'll just run the npm install JS. I'll create an empty project first. Now let me copy those examples. Here we have a very basic sum function and on our task we are importing this sum function and we are creating a task for it we, and we expect that the sum of 1 plus 2 to be 3. And when we run the npm test it calls this script that basically calls just and the just gets all the tasks of our project and run them. And in this case, our test passed because 1 plus 2 is equal 3. We can also run JS directly from the command line if we have it installed globally. And this command of the documentation is telling Jazz to run the test my task to create a notification window and to use this config file. And but we don't have any of those. We don't have this test and we don't have this config file. So I'll just create my own command. In our case, I'm telling Jazz to run the sum test and to notify us. Okay, and here's the notification. We can create a basic configuration file using the just init command. Here we can select if you want the just to behave like a browser with the JS DOM or like a Node.js project. I'll select the JS DOM. I'll ignore the coverage reports for now. And I also don't want to clear the mocks at this point. And here's the file that just created with all the configurations commented. We'll be covering each one of these configurations later in the course. We can also configure our JAS test to run with Bubble. Here I already have a project with Bubble and here I've changed the export of this sum and in this case it's using the ES6 syntax. So if I enter in the Bubble project and try to run this sum like this, it will accuse an unexpected token export but if we compile this code with Bubble it will run. So Jazz must know that it should use Bubble to compile first the code and then run the tests. For it, we use the Bubble Jazz. 
and I already have the Bubble.js installed on this project. So if I try to run the tests, it will pass, it will work with the ES6 export syntax. If you want to use with Webpack, you must follow the using with Webpack guide. You can also use Bubble with TypeScript. I already have a Bubble TypeScript configured here. You can see that my sum.ts is using the TypeScript syntax. We actually don't have to do anything different in this case because Bubble.js already handles the TypeScript if it is configured on your Bubble. And it works.